Hello everyone. I hope you can hear me and see me okay. The original uh, live stream stream uh, actually crashed on me uh, as I went to go live three minutes ago. Uh, hi Jake. Hi Deb. What's the name of the book? Wow, you don't mess around, uh, Deb. Uh, I'll come to that in a few minutes. Um, don't worry about it. How is everybody uh, today? Um, can everybody see me and hear me okay? As I say, the original stream actually... Uh, broke down on me. I don't know what happened. It crashed. But as long as everybody can see and hear me now, that's fine. I can see Marie's the name. I hey, Vincenzo. Uh, hi, Danny. How are you doing? Paul, Mark. Great to see you all on a Wednesday evening again. Wednesday afternoon. I don't see uh, Dave, uh, Arkansas Dave, my buddy, uh, yet. Um, so I've gathered you all here today. <laughs> to make an announcement. Um, I see in the news that the Elvis biopic uh, actually uh, wrapped there during the week. Uh, it's in post-production now. So um, all the, the filming has been done. Um, now, the only th trouble is it's still slated for the 3rd of June, 2022. Uh, hi, Andrew. How are you doing? Hope you're keeping well. Hi, Lou Dane. So... Yeah, um, even though it's wrapped filming, um, I suppose they're waiting until maybe uh, a few more um, uh, theatres open again. So they don't want to sort of release it too early. Um, but uh, yeah, Friday the 3rd of June. There was a new uh, actor added to the cast and it was uh, somebody called Mike Bingerman. He's going to play Sonny West. Uh, hello from sunny California, Phyllis. How are you doing? Watching the deluxe edition of the, the comeback special, Tyler. Yeah, good choice. Rockstars, damn, 2022. Yes, it's unbelievable, really, isn't it? Hi, Dave. I see you. Uh, yeah, Mike Bingaman, uh, Sonny West. Kelvin Harris Jr. is going to be B.B. King. Um, uh, Alton Mason, Little Richard. Kate Mulvaney has been added to the uh, cast as well. She's going to play Marion Keisker. And uh, she's from The Great Gatsby in 2013, if you're not familiar with Kate Mulvaney. Dacry Montgomery is going to play Steve Binder. Uh, Adam Dunn is going to play Bill Black. Now, that's strange because I've seen Adam's name against Bill Black, but I don't see an actor for Scotty Moore. You know, you'd imagine if uh, Bill Black is... Uh, being used that scotty will be as well maybe i just missed the name i don't know hi tina um so i just wanted to sort of fill you in on that a little bit um that uh, it's wrapped as in uh, filming uh all the actors have uh, gone their separate ways and as i say post-production now uh i did hear that lisa marie was living with her ex-husband again that's right uh, danny keogh i believe uh so you know, when I look at the actors that uh, have been uh, signed up for this movie and when you also see that there's Steve Binder is going to be included in it, Sonny West, Marion Keisker, you know, you, you just get the feeling that this could be the real McCoy this time. This could be, you know, a really, really, really good uh, stab Xavier Samuel is Scotty Moore. Thanks, Anna. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, you just get a feeling that they this that they are going to really give it a really really good go at making this a good movie. Um, I hope they don't uh, make a mess of it <laughs> because I really really do um, because uh, as I always say, Elvis deserves the best and. Uh, you know, some of the previous uh, attempts at uh, portraying Elvis's life haven't been that great. Um, so let's hope that this one is the real McCoy. Um, so how is everybody? Uh, it, it is 20 to 8 in uh, Ireland and it's probably about 20 to 12 i believe is it uh, maybe 20 to 1 uh, on the uh, 
west coast and probably half uh, three, 20 to four on the east coast. And what I'm going to say to you is at quarter past the hour, the next hour, so in about uh, 40, 45 minutes, yeah, about, no, not 45 minutes, what am I saying, 35 minutes, I will be uploading the brand new uh, video, the brand new interview. And it is an interview with a guy called Joe Schumann, and he has written a book called An A to Z of Elvis, or sorry, if you're watching me in America, An A to Z of Elvis, um, in Frequently Asked Questions, okay? I got this book about uh, two, two and a half weeks ago uh, as an advanced copy because I was asked to look it over and uh, if I wanted an interview to interview Joe, which I was interested in interviewing Joe just to get a little background on the uh, book, uh, Baz Luhrmann will make it into a rock extravaganza. Oh dear. Mm, okay. Um, so I got an advanced copy of the book, which is now on my desk. It's not uh, the run-of-the-mill uh, book, like the um, you know the books you see, which is written by either the Memphis Mafia or a girlfriend or uh, somebody that worked for him, one of the Memphis Mafia, you know, people like that. Or, you know, it's not a biography, but it's a very, very unusual book. It's a quirky book. It's not to be taken seriously. It's sort of a tongue-in-cheek sort of thing. And I would... I would say that a lot of people will actually enjoy it. Uh, have you read it all the way through? Yes, I have read it all the way through, uh, from cover to cover, a couple of times. And uh, basically what it is, I've also got another copy as well, uh, which hasn't got all the not for resale and draft copies and everything written over the front of it. And that will be up for grabs as the March fan of the month. So if you want to win uh, a copy of this book, if you want to join me on Sunday, because as you can see there below, uh, I do uh, every Sunday, we do an Elvis Fan of the Month quiz. I also do my Elvis Song of the Week, but uh, that's that's basically it. If you want to win a copy of this book, um, join me on Sunday and see how many questions you can get correct. And uh, you you stand a chance of winning the book. Uh, can you find it on Amazon? Yes, you can. It's available on Amazon. It's been available as of yesterday. It was only published yesterday. And if you want a very, very quick look at the cover, that's it there. Okay, that's it there. That's the book. Okay. And it's got uh, some great, great pictures in it as well, actually. Um, it's... Uh, what, what am I going to do here? I'm going to show a picture uh that i think is nice uh oh there's a picture there of bruce lee okay uh because uh, there is a section about elvis and bruce lee um there's also um uh, that's very close to my heart as well actually uh irish if you look at irish at the bottom there okay there's a selection uh, se section on him being irish okay germany covers germany as well with him being in Germany. Um, yeah, so I would, David Bowie is uh, as well, is, is uh, uh, Muhammad Ali, okay, John Kotner, um, Illuminati. You know, it's sort of not to be taken seriously because it's a lot of it is sort of tongue in cheek. And, and then, of course, you know, Operation Fountain Pen is another one. Uh, and I would I would actually say that a lot of people would enjoy it as long as they don't take it too seriously. How are the pics in the book? Can you show us? Yeah, well, like I say, they're 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 they're, they're drawings, but they're color drawings. They're not just like it's not a run of the mill book where you've got the black and white photographs or the color photographs in the middle, like the, just the photograph. The, these these uh, are these illustrations on nearly every every page. Okay, uh, and as Danny says, it looks nice and very different, and that's basically it. Uh, it is a completely different book. It's a quirky book. If you want something that you haven't seen before 20 or 30 times, as I say, for the Memphis Mafia or that, not that I'm not knocking the, the books that have already, uh, you know, out in publication because there are some very, very, very good books out there. You know, like Peter Goralnik, Alan and Nash, uh, you know, the, the Memphis Mafia, you know, just great books, great books. So I'm not knocking those books. I'm just saying that this one is a little bit different. And I think Joe said it was around nine ninety nine. So it's not, 
it's not an expensive book either and dave wants to know what's on the back of the book apart from it saying not for resale because this is an advanced copy it, there's just text on the back of it okay just text on the back and a to z of elvis in frequently asked questions by joe schumann and there might just be um a little bit uh, actually chris says looks decent chris you could have you could have done some of these drawings <laughs> they're that good you know what i mean and I know you're very talented as well, so you could have done some of those drawings, I'm sure. Um, so, so, yeah. Um, and who knows? There might be a couple of things in there that um, you, you you didn't know, just because some of them are just quite a little bit obscure. Some of them are, you know, Larry Blong, uh, Colonel John Burroughs, uh, Elvis Presley, Crawfish, Clam Bake. It covers some of his movies as well. Um Franklin Aaron Presley he actually um, tackles that that you know uh, sadly the story has it that Gladys Presley had a miscarriage in 1942 so he addresses that as well you know he addresses some of these things that have been floating around for a good few years uh, Elvis in Home Alone uh, all those sort of things and more I'm only telling you a little tiny little bit of what's in the book so uh, You'll need to listen to the interview that's coming up in around about half an hour, about 30 minutes from now. Uh, the interview will be coming up. Uh, uh, Chris says, uh, Steve, well in. I'm still learning. No, well, I'm still learning. OK. All right. Um, don't think uh, Elvis uh, meet Bruce Lee, Arkansas. Um, there is something in the book about Elvis and Bruce Lee. I'm not going to give it away, but if you want to read it, um, you know. Uh, did somebody say, uh, welcome Priscilla, love the name. There's, <laughs> there was a Priscilla on here. I missed that while I was looking down. Um, I'm not sure. Is it the Priscilla? If it is, welcome Priscilla. Um, I, I haven't seen a Priscilla on here before, so she's probably new to the uh, to this um this channel and just a, a little reminder as well i know you, you're probably fed up with me saying it every time i come on here but if you can subscribe and press the little bell and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already um because it does help um you know the more because the reason i'm doing this channel is to get elvis out there as much as i can and even turn on new fans if i can turn on new fans all the better all the better. And somebody was saying, I think it was Deb was saying earlier on that the little bell doesn't work. Now, the only thing is, yes, you do cl click subscribe. You do click the little bell. But what I find is some people and, and a lot of people might not know this. Actually, you have to actually go into the settings on your phone, go to apps and notifications, find the YouTube app and make sure that the uh, toggles are all on for live streams and new content and all that or else you won't be notified even if you're you click the bell you might not have been notified that i'm on uh, you know on uh, on live um i notice i've got a little bit of a red uh, light coming on here every so often i hope um uh, you can probably tell me if i'm coming through loud and clear or if i'm stuttering or not uh thank you very much thank you very much well people are saying i do a great job but the thing is right is uh, it's all for Elvis. It's all for you. And this is your channel. This is not my channel. Um, so share it with all your friends into the Elvis world. Many youngsters are listening more every day. Correct. Correct. That, that's that's what it's all about, Dave. If you can like and share this channel as well, uh, I'd be very, very happy. Uh, Jake Bailiff, everything Elvis. Hi, Jake. We missed you. Yes, Jake's been busy. He must have been busy. Um, uh, Probably with um, his his um, his channel. You look and sound great. Thank you very much. That's good. I don't know what that little red light is telling me then. <laughs> I often worry that people can't hear me or see me properly. Uh, Manwiggy sixty six. It is on Amazon. Yes, in fact, it's it's printed by Amazon. Uh, Joe must have um, approached Amazon and got a deal with them to say, can you publish this? So yes, you can find it. An A to Z of Elvis by Joe Schumann. Uh, in frequently asked questions. Uh, red light spells danger, Robert. I know it does. Yes, it does. It really does. Uh, so just to reiterate, this this is actually going to be a, a shorter than normal live stream this, uh, this Wednesday uh, because I want to get off and I want you to enjoy the interview with Joe. But what I do want to say is uh, if anybody missed 
the uh, live stream on Sunday, I wanted to say that um, this book is uh, the March uh, fan of the month uh, prize. But April and May is going to be a $25 voucher, which you can spend at Graceland or on the Graceland shop. OK, so there is, you know, it's 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 a tasty um, it, it's a tasty price. Twenty five dollars. You can get quite a bit for twenty five dollars or you can put twenty five dollars towards uh, maybe the new uh, his hand in mine uh, discs. That, that looks like a good set. There you go. Yeah, Chris says Amazon do a print book service. Well, obviously, that's what he did. He went to Amazon and asked them, could they uh, print it for him and then uh, sell it through Amazon? So uh, I liked it. I enjoyed it. And I'll tell you why I enjoyed it is because it's something different. It's a different sort of book. Um, Jill says this is a brilliant stream. Thank you very much, Jill. Well, I do appreciate everybody that joins me for these Wednesdays and Sundays live streams. Um, I'm always thinking of different ideas and new ideas and things like that. And another thing, don't forget, you can join me for Song of the Week on Sunday. And what I do after the show on the Sunday, I put in the description box below the link for the Song of the Week and the actual version that I pick. Um, so, you know, uh, that's that's another idea. And also, at the end of each month, I'm going to do a poll on the community tab in uh, YouTube. And it's going to ask you which which um, of the four uh, song of the weeks you liked because normally there's four Sundays in a month and I'd like to I'd like to know your opinion I'd like to know you know so far we've done never been to Spain any way you want me find out what's happening so you know I'll ask you which was your favorite of the month because it, it, it's just great to talk about Elvis and you know knock things off uh, bounce things off uh, different fans and things like that Steve, are there two books that are called Elvis Encyclopedia? One by his stepbrother, Dave Stanley. I think there's only one by uh, his um, uh, his brother, stepbrother. There's a lot of books like like this. You know, there's like um, Day by Day and those sort of things. Uh, you know, but this is the first uh, one like this. You know, it's it, it's completely different. Uh, my shirt is uh, Sun Studio. I thought I put Sun Studio on today just in uh, to match my glass as well um, maybe off the total at the gift shops yeah I mean it does you you can you you can spend the voucher that I'm going to give you next month and the month after which has been very kindly donated by uh, a listener uh, Red West book new book where is it I don't know Ron I don't even know whether it's actually going to ever um, surface I don't know we've been waiting that long now because Red's been Red's been gone quite a few quite a few years now, hasn't he? I think. Um, is there a box set of all uh, Elvis's movies, Steve? Not that I know of. You can buy them in double features and things like that. But the whole box, I must have a look. Actually, somebody else asked me to check out um, Elvis Lass on YouTube. Now, I think uh, Elvis Lass used to do another uh, Elvis YouTube uh, channel. Uh, about a couple of years ago called lightning tcb or something like that and she kind of stopped doing it after a few um so she's obviously started up again uh, and i think it's the same girl i do think it's the same girl because she has a very distinctive uh, scottish accent if she's watching this actually uh, or if anybody knows her tell her to get in touch and uh, confirm that with me uh, yes box set on dvd is not sure if they have uh, done blu-ray yet They've done some in Blu-ray. I know they've done uh, King Creole in Blu-ray uh, back last April. Uh, Andrew, yeah, uh, Elvis, uh, A Life in Music is a great one. Yeah, and it's got a it's got a lot of information in it about the uh, the um, the recording sessions. I didn't see the Elvis meets Nixon movie, and I'll tell you the reason why is because the 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 trailer put me off. It looked that bad. Uh, Elvis doing karate and things like that in the overall Oval Office. No, <laughs> I thought I won't. I won't. I must admit. Um, don't we all love to binge on Elvis movies? Yeah, I agree. Don't we all? Uh, the weather is horrible today unfortunately i know um somebody was speaking to me in england i think it was danny and he was saying it was a beautiful day in england but unfortunately over here it was wet and windy and it's getting really really cold so not great 
it's uh, it's definitely a night for for sitting in talking about Elvis uh, watching Elvis videos listening to interviews that Steve has done on YouTube uh, yeah well maybe Red's wife is trying to find a publisher uh, uh, Bogdan says it was a great comedy. Yeah, maybe so. You see, this is it. Uh, you have to take some of these things with a pinch of salt and just, um, you know, tongue in cheek. But I just didn't fancy it. Uh, I didn't fancy it. But I must admit, I really am. I'm really looking forward to this, the, the Baz Luhrmann one. And I just hope I won't be disappointed. Um, unfortunately, I have very high standards. And sometimes nearly too high. But when it comes to Elvis, I like everything just so. You know, just so. Um, I would like to have been technical advisor or, or something on the movie. So it's if they made a mistake, <laughs> I could have said, well, actually, that's wrong. This is how it was. Uh, I hope they get the timeline right. Stuff like that. Because uh, somebody mentioned Bohemian Rhapsody um, during the week. Uh, I think actually it might have been Joe that said he wasn't happy with Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, and the one thing that stood out for me is they, they got the timelines wrong with a lot of it. And I think the reason why they moved the timelines around was just to make it more dramatic. Uh, not not to put too, too fine a point on it. They actually had uh, Freddie finding out that he was uh, uh, HIV positive. Uh, just before Live Aid, and he didn't actually, he wasn't actually, he didn't even actually find out uh, he was uh, HIV positive until after, after Live Aid. Priscilla, uh, hi, uh, newbie to your channel. Well, you're very welcome, and everybody here will give you a great welcome, because uh, we, we do feel like family, actually. We do feel like family. Uh, I hope the movie mentions Linda Thompson and Ginger Alden. I don't know. There is a there is a young Elvis uh, cast as well, so they're they'll probably starting from about, you know, the nineteen thirties, nineteen forties. But I don't know how far they're going in. They're starting at the start, but I don't know where it'll end. Uh, I hope it doesn't end in nineteen seventy three, because Elvis's life and career did not end in nineteen seventy three. Yeah, I think her name is Michelle Elvis Lass, and I'm almost certain it was the girl that did Lightning TCB or something a few years ago. But uh, maybe her circumstances changed, and she couldn't do YouTube for a while, and now she started again. But she seems a lovely girl. She seems a lovely girl, and uh, I mean, I have, uh, you know, I I have time for uh, everybody and all channels that uh, are respectful to Elvis and show him in a good light you know i don't like the ones that kind of try to knock him or just do everything negative i mean i know you have to address some of the negatives in his life but you have to give a balance as well so i don't like any of the ones that make fun of him or just you know show poor pictures all the time they never show you know the balance a good picture against it to balance it out ronnie tut in the new movie and not too sure i'd say he might be he might be um I um, just an update. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't heard from Anne Margaret, and I don't think I am going to hear from Anne Margaret. However, I have tried to contact uh, Stella Stevens, who was in uh, Girls, Girls, Girls. I had an email for her, but it just bounced back. So obviously, the email isn't working anymore. But I do have an address. So I've written Stella a nice letter to find out if she'll come on and talk to me about uh, working with Elvis on Girls, Girls, Girls. Uh, I'm always on the lookout uh, for interesting guests for you and, you know, um, just who I can talk to and make it a little bit more interesting for you. And who knows, you know, sometimes we can all learn something by talking to these people. Uh, congratulations, Robert Reed. My dad's Jerry Reed King. <laughs> I think he's pulling your leg because <laughs> Reed is spelled differently. Yeah, uh, David, um, the costumes will be very, very interesting to see how accurate they get the costumes. Arkansas says, welcome, Priscilla. Welcome to all the Ultimate fans. Now you are one. Correct, you are one. I hope you can join us on Sunday, Priscilla, and maybe answer a few questions. Don't forget, uh, the uh, Fan of the Month prize is this new book. And then uh, we're giving away $25 vouchers uh, April and May, which can be spent at Graceland or in the Graceland shop. 
Um, yeah, just going back to the jumpsuits, it's interesting because um, Elvis, the movie that Kurt Russell did, uh, at the end there, uh, when he opened in Vegas, I know it was the wrong suit. It was 1972 and it was supposed to be 1969. But overlooking that, it was the actual suit that Elvis wore. Uh, Vernon gave it to, uh, loaned it to Kurt to use. What's that, Danny Hingley? It's because it's not commercially good looking and pathetic. Uh, what's that about? Um, I'll have to go back and have a look at that. Uh, what did Danny say? EP never show any photos of Elvis after 73. Right, fair enough. That's okay. I just wonder what that uh, comment was about. Um, yeah, well, I, I could actually go into that one uh, one week. Um, we could cover a whole subject of why uh, everything seems to be airbrushed out uh, of uh, Elvis's life and career after about 1973. Um, does everything end with Aloha? When there were so many more highs after Aloha. Okay. Yeah, we could. We, we could even... Uh, I, I don't think um, he meant that Elvis was pathetic. I think he meant that uh, the uh, situation was pathetic, the way they seemed to finish in 1973. That's what I think he meant, Lou. Um, and Danny says uh, he agrees. So, um, I hope uh, you will give uh, my interview coming up in 15 minutes um, a listen, either tonight or in the next couple of days. I'll keep reminding you any anyway. I usually put up reminders on the uh, YouTube channel to, to watch and listen. Um and also um, invest in the book. It, it's only nine ninety nine, uh, and I believe it's available on Kindle as well. But uh, I think personally myself, you would need it in your hand because of the illustrations. The illustrations are just brilliant. They really are. Uh, you've seen that Elvis's wrist, wristwatch for sale, a starting bid of two thousand five hundred. No, that's more my um, that's more my budget uh, because the. Um, the, the cherry red guitar that he used in the 68 comeback special, the starting bids are 250000 That's just a little bit over my budget. Although I have done the lottery for tomorrow and it is $10 million. So if I do win that, folks, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy that. I'm going to give whatever they want within reason. You know, I mean, if, if, they, if they'll sell it to me for 300000 I'll give them 300000 And uh, we can all ha have a hold of it sometime. Uh, so, yeah. But uh, 2,500 isn't too bad for a wristwatch. I, I don't think so anyway. Not well, yeah, But that's probably the starting bid. Can you show the book one more time, please? Of course I can, yes. Of course I can. There you go. It's A to Z of Elvis. And it's uh, in Frequently Asked Questions by Joe Schumann. Now, this isn't Joe's first book. If you listen to the interview, he'll he'll tell you the other books he's done as well, but this is his first Elvis book. Priscilla and Jerry consulted with Baz on the film. Correct, Dave. Uh, there's a story going around that um, they expected were Baz. No, not Baz. What am I saying? Uh, Tom Hanks and his wife um, had dinner with Elvis's uh, um ex-wife Priscilla and they expected her to say that uh, Colonel Parker was a charlatan and a thief and all this and all that and she actually said uh, no uh, we really loved the Colonel he looked after us so uh, yeah and uh, Priscilla and Jerry consulted with Baz okay fair enough that's yeah, all right we will see we will see um, you know consulting with somebody is one thing but actually using their information is another so there you go. So um, uh, just to remind you as well, on the, this side here, okay, is my Twitter handle, at Steve Francis 5. So if you want to follow uh, Elvis the Ultimate Fan Channel <coughs> on Twitter, you can. And also you can join the group Elvis the Ultimate Fan Channel on Facebook. And I've got a frog in my throat. Mm -mm. So I'd, I'd love you if you can follow me on Twitter because I do post stuff on Twitter and give you news and things like that as well. Um, 
well, Vincenzo, how can she defend the colonel? She obviously, uh, everybody has an opinion. Uh, <clears throat> some people are indifferent about the colonel. Some people loved him and other people hated him. So obviously Priscilla, you know, thought he was good for Elvis. Uh, Elvis only. I like that. I don't think I've seen you on here before, uh, Elvis only. But somebody, uh, there's the new book. And as I say, in about uh, 12 minutes, there'll be a full interview with the author on that book. So as I say, don't forget, at Steve Francis 5 on Twitter. Uh, Facebook is Elvis the Ultimate Fan Channel. Subscribe and click the bell. And also turn on your uh, notifications on your phone if you don't get uh, a little notification when I go live or post new videos. Uh, that sometimes uh, is the reason why you don't get uh, notifications. Also, if you like this channel, if you like my content and you do want to show your appreciation, there is a link below in the description box and you can buy me a coffee or two or three, whatever. I love coffee, so you can go to the link and you can buy me a coffee. So I really do hope you're going to enjoy uh, this interview. I really hope that you'll buy the book and enjoy it uh, because I would if I hadn't been given a free copy. And see you on Sunday with a chance to win a copy of the book and for my Elvis Song of the Week. As I say it, I really appreciate you joining me on these Wednesdays and Sundays. Like and share uh, these uh, this channel and these videos, please. And look after yourselves until I see you on Sunday.